How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Bee Reviews, back with yet another review. And, uh, we're going to be doing a barrel-aged beer today. Um, a barrel-aged quad. Don't see a ton of barrel-aged quads, but, uh, the ones I have had from the select few companies that make them have been pretty good. Um, but this is a barrel-aged quad from a brewery I have never had. Heard of them. Um, never had anything from them before. I received this bottle, um, from a friend of mine, um, Ryan, uh, brewphoto.com or at brewphoto on Instagram. Check him out. Takes great pictures of, uh, of beer. He got this and kind of gifted it to me for some work I did for him. Uh, and it's, uh, Jackie O's Bourbon Barrel Age Skipping Stone. Uh, Belgian Style Quad Asian Bourbon Barrels. Like I said, I've never had anything from Jackie O's. Heard of them before, um, but never had anything. So I'm super excited to give it a whirl, see what they have to offer. I'm always really excited to have, um, Belgian style doubles and quads from companies in the United States anyway. Just kind of that's where I cut my uh, cut my cloth or whatever you want to call it when it comes to beer. Really started off with uh, a lot of Trappist um, and Belgian quads. So I'm really particular about how they taste. <clears throat> so um, hence the excitement. Uh, as far as what this says on the bottle, Jackie O's Bourbon Barrel Aged Skipping Stone Belgian Style Quad Aged Bourbon Barrels. The side here, Jackie O's brew, uh, brew and Pub and Brewery, <clears throat> Athens, Ohio. Yada yada yada. Government warning stuff has a batch number on here. It says 2014, so I have no idea how old it is. Um, or no, wait, is yeah, no, that wouldn't make sense. So I have no idea how old it is. Probably not all that old. This is late November, northeastern um, Pennsylvania. Not that. Location matters with time, unless we live in like a time portal or a vortex, which we do not. So, uh, so it's probably, let's hope for about six months old, which would be pretty awesome. Uh, as far as what it says on this side, got a little story going on. It says, in to early 2011, we began to experiment with Trappist East, crafting some traditional Abbey-style ales. Initially, three beers were designed and brewed. Each was named after one of the three watersheds that feeds Athens County. Shade Abbey, uh, Raccoon Hubble, and Hocking Triple. Um, when it came time to brew a fourth, a quad, we thought long and hard about what to name it. Through reflection, the innocent uh, uh, act of skipping stones skimmed to the surface. A timeless action of nature in motion inspired a beer both rich and elegant, bourbon barrel skipping stone, Exudes powerful notes of caramel, dark fruit, spice, and oak. A beautiful beer to imbibe in subtle surroundings where the mind can roam. Aww. It's quite thoughtful. Uh, Label-wise, always do the whole label thing. Really dig the artwork. On the side here, it has um, artwork. It says art by uh, Kevin at KevinMorganStudio.com. Give him a little bit of props because uh, just something about it. Super cool. Dig it. You know? Very classy, very cool artwork done thoughtfully. The only thing I don't think about it is the the uh, the lettering is kind of hard. And that's what that first part of that uh, story it was a little hard to read because it's like white on orange. But other than that, I mean, that's really nitpicking it. It's a pretty pretty cool label. Dig it all around and ghetto silver cap. You know me and my ghetto caps. Ghetto cap means good beer. Hopefully, so ghetto cap combined with a cool label, it's got to be good. So let's see what she's got going on. That is a dark beer. Um, darker than you, kind of a little bit darker than you expect from a, a quad, but it is a barrel aged quad, so I mean, that's to be expected. Nice uh, beige, a little bit darker than beige colored head. Nice creaminess on top. Not a gigantic head, especially with the vigorous pour that I gave it. You expect to have a little bit bigger head to it, being that it is a Belgian quad, but again, that barrel aging kind of probably settles that down. Color wise, like I said, it's very dark. When I poured it, you could see it was that typical um, brown that you get with um, a Belgian quad, just, just a little bit darker and holding it up to light. It's really even hard to get any kind of color through it, but it's brown. You can see it around the colors here. Carbonation, all that stuff, I couldn't tell you. It's too dark. But just looking at the edge of it, especially across the bottom, Looks like it has a nice density to it, which is always, for me, not just a bonus, but a requirement when it comes to a true Belgian quad. So, yeah, it looks nice. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh! There would be bourbon in there. Just a little bit. Wow. Good God. That's a bourbon barrel-aged beer. Um, kind of hard to pick up a ton of quad or Belgian quad 
type um, treats from it. Because of how much bourbon is going on in there. It just smells like, you know, a little bit of oakiness, a lot of bourbon. <sighs> kind of just overpowering everything. Um, not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you know, I like my beers when they're barrel aged. They taste like they've been barrel aged. But, you know, to overpower that nice, you know, dark fruit breadiness of a Belgian quad. You like to be a little bit har more harmonious if you could. But yeah, on the nose, just a ton of uh, sweetness, a ton of molasses, a ton of bourbon, and, and a little bit of oak. Yeah, but I mean, for what it is, it smells nice. You can tell it's a beer. It's not like it just smells like bourbon. It's a bourbon barrel aged beer, but yeah, that's the prominent force in there. So let's see if it tastes like that. Cheers. It's a good beer. I mean, it is. It's definitely bourbon forward. But it's got a nice roastiness to it, too. You taste that. It's something like that charred oak. It has to be like a burnt bourbon barrel. Um, it tastes... How do I put it? You can definitely tell it's the Belgian style double, dark, or quad in a bourbon barrel. They, have, they tend to have this unique taste to it. Combined with a kind of fluffy, creamy mouthfeel you'd expect from a Belgian quad. But it is, it is, like I said, bourbon, bourbon, oak, and then everything else is down here. So, all in all, you know what I mean? While I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying a bourbon bombish of a beer as opposed to a harmonious Belgian quad with a bourbon barrel aged flavor to it. So, while it's good, it's just kind of unbalanced in that. I mean, age would probably play a little bit with that. You know what I mean? If you give it a little bit of time, not much, I'm not sure how much of that bourbon is going to fall out of there. Um, it's not really all that boozy. I didn't catch an ABV on here, but you're talking about a Belgian quad. Probably has a decent ABV to it in general. That barrel aging with that amount of bourbon in it. I'm guessing it's probably up there. I'm guessing anywhere between 10 to 15%, probably somewhere right in the middle of that. There's really not much booze there. It's just that bourbon flavor is just kind of overwhelming. But if you're someone like me, who's a fan of that taste, especially with that unique mixture, like I said, I haven't had much bourbon barrel quads or barrel aged quads. Um, the ones that I have had, it's a Cane 3rd Anniversary or Solero Method. Um, it was a Belgian dark quad mix that I loved. Um, you know, your um, your La Trappes, the Oak Age La Trappe is, I believe, is their Belgian quad. I think it's their quad. I don't think it's their double their quad. But that's a little bit different barrel age one. They do a lot of, like, mixed barrels. Where they do, like, wine barrels or scotch barrels. And it's it's more of a very, more subtle um, barrel aging as opposed to this. It's, like, so barrel forward. So, But they have this kind of unique taste to them. It's hard to explain. Yeah, just like I said, there's a ton of bourbon, but it has that feel of the Belgian quad more than anything. But since it is so bourbon forward, it's a little bit unbalanced, which sounds like a negative, but for me, the taste that I'm getting is good. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, rating wise, I'd probably give it like a 92. Um, like I said, it almost sounds like I'm kind of giving it a negative with how much bourbon is in there, but it's not off putting, even though it is powerful. So for me, it's a pleasant flavor profile, so I'm going to give it a 92 just because I like it that much for what it is. But if you go into it expecting it just to be just kind of Belgian quad with a little bit of bourbon going on, and it do the opposite. Expect it, you know, the bourbon barrel aged beer, which is kind of like Belgian quaddy notes to it. So uh, availability and value, I'm going to give a big non-available on it, big NA, just because you can't get it in this area. Um, I've never seen it in this area. Like I said, I got a gifted from somebody who traded with somebody, so it's kind of like, you know, something I couldn't rate on either of those scales. 
So a big NA on that. So yeah, you know, nice, you know, lower mid 90s score, lower 90s score overall, and not available on uh, value and uh, availability. So yeah, overall, really nice beer. I'd be super interested. I should have let it sit um, because it is, you know, the type of beer you'd expect to age fantastic. Um, but I can't help myself. I'll try, if I like it now, I'll try to get another bottle and let that sit. But I kind of feel like I need to taste everything when it first comes out and then taste it a couple years down the line. So, you know, taste it now. And if I can tell it's a good beer for one and two going to age really well, then I'll go out of my way to get another bottle. So I don't have one now, but I will try to track one down. Um, yeah. If you're a fan of bourbon-aged beers, bourbon barrel-aged beers, and you like that big bourbon taste, that nice bourbon forwardness, this is right up your alley. If you like uh, quads, but just a little bit more oomph to them, or something that's barrel-aged quad-wise, but a little bit, I don't want to say boozier, like I said, it's not really a boozy beer, more than it's bourbon-y um, and oaky. Might be worth something checking out. I mean, it's just barrel-aged beers in general to see how they change and progress and do whatever. It's... It's a really good beer. I mean, you have a low 90 score. I mean, it's a fantastic beer. So, yeah. So, yeah. Not too shabby. Jackie O's Bourbon Barrel Age Skipping Stone. They're Belgian style clod Asian bourbon barrels. You know, like the joke goes, like, some people like, you know, milk with their coffee and some people like coffee with their milk. This is more like someone who likes a quad with their bourbon as opposed to a little bit of bourbon with their quad. So, um, yeah. Another review in the books. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if uh, you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Massive Beers. Way more active on Instagram, so if you're going to check us out anywhere, check us out there. And uh, as I've been seeing lately in a lot of review, our reviews, uh, beers like this is a perfect example. Beers we would never typically uh, get in our area that you know, typically don't get a lot of publicity or get a lot of review play or stuff that breweries that should get a little bit more pub. Um, please let us know about those beers. Like I said, I kind of got this through, you know, six degrees of separation is how this beer ended up in my hands. And if someone doesn't live close to there, um, you're not going to hear about it. So if you guys know of any beers out there that should get reviewed or should get a little more publicity, excuse me, or... Uh, you would just like to see reviewed, you know what I mean? Please let us know. We're always on the lookout for new stuff. So, yeah. Um, another review down. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hope you're enjoying a nice beer like this. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.